Welcome to Food Fight Showdown. On today's episode, we're on the inconvenient side of the channel. Today we're going to go outside. I'm going to give you a tour of the property and I'm going to show you some upcoming videos we're going to do. Cue the intro. <laughs> Looking at here is an Asian pear that's just coming on. And then we have an apple tree. Both of these trees are probably about four years old. Here is another, this is another type of pear tree. Here is another Asian pear. This one is probably three to four years old as well. Okay, here is another pear tree. I'm not sure which kind this one is. Kind of this one last year. And it's probably another three to four year old tree. Okay, this one is a nectarine. And it is probably I'm gonna say five or six years old. It should produce quite a bit this year if that cold air didn't get to it last night. And we have another Asian pear here. Here we have a pecan tree and it's probably about six or seven years old and it should produce quite a bit of uh, pecans this year. Okay, here we have a plum tree who looks like it's going to produce heavily this year. Down below here we have gooseberries. And we have, this is a plum cot tree. It's probably two to three years old. And we have what it's going to look like in a couple more years right over here. This should produce heavy this year. Now we have another nectarine, which should produce nicely this year if the cold air last night doesn't get to it. And we have some strawberries that made it through the winter. This is a peach tree. And we have an apple tree. This is a plum. And we have another peach tree. There's a nectarine there along the fence. And a peach tree. Let's take a look at the chickens while we're here. I have about 60 chickens. I get an average of, I'm going to say 40 eggs a day. This is my garden area, which won't be too much longer. We'll be tilling, and I like to put the uh, black fabric on it. And we'll be doing that soon, and I'll probably be doing that in a video. You'll notice a lot of pots around the garden. I, I like to use those as raised beds. Here, as we come up here, we'll see some pots. My wife has planted some, what, what they call winter onions. 
they make their own seed every year and you pick up them seeds and put it in a uh, bag and save them and plant them in late fall and they come up every year. You'll never be without onions. These onions will be about right around baseball size. We have some more trees here. Here's another plum. This is a cherry tree. Another kind of cherry tree. Once again, another kind of cherry tree. And then we have a hazelnut here. And then another plum. Then we have a nectarine again. This is a pear tree. An apple tree. And let's look over here. That's an apple tree. Two apple trees there. Another apple tree. That's a cherry. There's a pear tree. There's some more gooseberries. And then three more apple trees. Another apple tree. Another apple tree. A cherry tree. And we're coming up on this small one right here is a pawpaw. Sometimes they're called Indiana bananas. And here's one that's a little bit older. Indiana banana or pawpaw. Then we have our lake. Here we have an Asian pear. And a regular pear which looks like it's going to produce heavy this year. Got some more strawberries I'm going to be planting. There's some that made it through the winter right there. And these are, these are figs. They're just now coming back to life. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. We'll see you on the next video.